No, that's going to be a good um, five number on that uh, hind wire at the 625 in the PM. Roger, good 625 PM, here we go. Right, thank you. Where well, is the train coming this way? Is it? Yeah, right now. Hey, I'll be out of the way before they get there. There it is. I don't know if uh, I got caught on the radio, uh, but um, 16R's got a high and wide. kind of logo on the side, it looks like it.
should be all the way up by like Vere Street now. That probably switch had to hit be hit. Yoink! that north gun, that high gun there, a couple times now. That's a regular. Ross Toe, huh? CRLE, huh? Wonder what that is. Looks like it's been around though.
thing. Oh, it's just only a couple of hundred racks. Blue. Red blue one. All right. And that was a 16R. And uh, let's see, down here some way a bit, there's a K86 uh, doing some work here in the cutie yard. But the the wavy track is uh, not often. It's not often when it's uh. Emptied out. Uh, you got you in 13 right now? This uh, wavy track, this is the industrial spur for like the, the Barrett aggregate mixing plant. I don't know if they make concrete here, but I think they make the aggregate and mix it here maybe like that. You pull 11 down, cut away, let me know. But yeah, they get rock hoppers here out. Uh, since the line's empty, I'll go over and, uh, you know, give you guys a little quick look at it, you know. Uh, Not often you get an angle from it over there. So. Teenage Katie Six, we'd like to get up to one to two each yards for mission. QD is line locked. Okay, we have QD line and locked to normal position, 6.46 in the PM. Big signal indication, number one main BD to two weeks, so. though. Roger, it's all set. Thank you. This is that Barrett uh, aggregate mixing plant I was telling you about. And uh, they definitely use uh, that front loader for moving the uh, rock hoppers here because, yeah, they use that, obviously. I haven't caught them doing it yet, but I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to have to stake them out a little bit. But I was actually wrong. This is all felt. There's not even an auger in there. And uh, not that big of a pit, really. I mean, don't really need a whole lot since it's just belt fed, anyways. And that's how it goes. Yeah, and that's obviously the probably the one that they use to pull the rock hoppers around. You bring it up, probably up that. It's a pretty uh steep little grade too. Oh, yeah. This is what that ra wavy track is kind of like. I don't know why it's so wavy like that. You think it'd make a lot more sense just to? Um, uh, they will. They they waved it. They, you know they. Yeah, they probably, you know, put the wave in it, so that way they can uh, yeah, line up with this. Uh, I got it now. I get it. All right, well, I gotta walk up that way anyway, so let's go here. But yeah, this is uh, the Barrett Aggregate Mexican plant. Uh, if I had more time, I'd show you guys like the other side because the other side is pretty cool. That's uh, where NYSW comes in that way off of their access to the Buffalo track to service them. 
uh, other people, and I don't know if there's a not completely different company like in there. When there's like this one, the scrap metal over here, and then uh, maybe there's some over here. I'm not sure, but yeah, as you can see, there's a couple of rail cars over there, you know, tankers and uh, some hoppers. Alright, I'm going to move up a bit, keep going rolling. 